Every day, we are confronted with numerous decisions. A high level of self-control allows us to meet the decision that is most beneficial in the long run. This ability helps us to withstand the temptation of choosing the most comfortable or pleasurable decision. To build strong self-discipline you need to know. First, know where you struggle. Start by writing down what you do in a day. Then, reflect on what you value and ask yourself whether your behaviors uphold those values. There are likely a few things you're doing each day that don't honor those values. It is helpful to ask for feedback from the colleagues, mentors, and family who know us best. See if there's overlap between how others see your actions and how you've self-identified your weaknesses. Second, how to not give up. It's important to build relationships with coworkers and give yourself mental and physical breaks throughout the day. But it's also important to be honest about your work patterns. If your mornings are consumed by non-work-related events and that's when you're most productive, that's not good. Know when you do your best work and schedule around it. Third, identify your goals. Did you know you're 42% more likely to achieve your goals if you write them down? The act of writing down goals forces you to visualize the goal itself, how to achieve it, and what steps you need to take to get there. Fourth, visualizing. Your brain doesn't differentiate between real and imagined memories. So, when you imagine something vividly, your brain chemistry changes as if you'd actually experienced it. Visualizing gives you the positive feelings and reducing feelings of insecurity. This makes it easier for you to overcome a fear and take actionable steps toward achieving your goals. Fifth, don't wait right time. If you wait for your schedule to be perfect or free time or your weekends, you might never get started on the work that needs to be done. Appreciate every moment and do what you need to do. Six, step by step. Changing your work habits in one week is a recipe for burnout and disaster. Instead, pick a few small habits to focus on each week. After a few weeks of improving one habit at a time, you might surprise yourself with how much more productive and self-disciplined you've become. Seven, get a mentor. There are things you can discuss with a mentor you might not be comfortable approaching with a colleague or manager. Mentors generally have more experience, know you well, and can give you the unvarnished advice and feedback you need to succeed. Eight, practice, fail, start over. Self-discipline is the act of trying, failing, and trying again. Don't worry, all people face this difficulty. But you shouldn't give up easily. 9. Track your progress. Not measuring your progress, it will be difficult to know whether you're succeeding. When you track your progress, naturally can create the kind of meaning that so many of us search for in our daily work. You also have a better understanding of the value you create and can show your accomplishments to others. 10. Treat yourself. Treat yourself throughout the practice of self-discipline. Whether it's a delicious dinner or a new pair of shoes, these treats will help you feel energized, restored, and not to give up. Yes, it may not always be pleasant and joyful to be a disciplined person, but in the end, your determination to follow your dreams will bring great benefits from it. We hope you enjoyed this video on willpower, self-control, and self-discipline. Feel free to tell us what helps you build willpower in the comments section below. Thank you.